Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the YouTube world, CJ Rose is back in the building. Welcome back to another NBA 2K20 My Career video. Where I'm back, I'm back in Philly. I'm back in my old stomping grounds because we taking on the Philadelphia 76ers for the first time this season. I'm taking on my old 2K19 team for the first time this season. This is gonna be fun. But it's also probably going to be annoying because I'm pretty sure, if I'm correct, Ben Simmons is my matchup. Whoa, that's going to be annoying. <laughs> that might be very annoying. But actually might be fun because Ben Simmons and I are one and two in field goal percentage for the season. So we're going to figure out who's going to shoot the best. We'll do what we can. If he's combing over the dunk contest tapes, I'm really curious to see what he pulls from. There's so many great moves. I've been in Philly since 2K. The two stars, George and Larry, fill up the forward slots. I've been in Philly since 2K19. Should be fun. And now you see Tobias Harris isn't starting. The talent capital up front. Booker and Embiid. Then it's Simmons. Then it's Josh Richardson. And it's... And I saw Tobias Harris, so I don't know if he... No, he is hurt. Oh, God. Come on, I was already in the air! Jesus, I can't, I, I can't do it. I can't, I can't do anything about that. God, uh, I don't even know what to do. It's a five point game. Whoa, 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 and B, chill. What the? And with this matchup being an East versus West affair, it'll be the first of only two meetings. Oh, God, if that was a shooter, that would be happy. When I tell you they're all over the place right now, this Philly team is all over the place. And as the, as late as, oh, I'm sorry. I can't even do anything really defensively because I got one foul right. What? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Shoot it, please. Oh my god. <laughs> what is going on? Why am I guarding these big men? What the f I don't have a good matchup on the court. Come on, Kawhi. Oh, good. Let's go. Finally, we on the board. I don't time. Ooh, this has been a rough game. Because they actually have the size advantage on us. And B saw it in Harold. 
Horford was taller than Kawhi, and of course Ben Simmons taller than me. So the block. Oh. Oh my God! You gotta be kidding me. Why am I always going on, Yo, bro? Why am I always going Warford? And I fouled. I'm surprised. All right, a chance here to check out the stats for Paul George. Just an incredible month of basketball, averaging about 18 points per, six rebounds, and three assists. But to have a scorer like him consistently deliver you points makes such a big difference for a team. Yeah, yeah, it, it gives you something you really can rely on going into every game. And, and you can also work off of him to look to create for others. And Simmons, the ball. I mean, you got to love the skill set Simmons possesses. A lightly triple-double threat. Uh, he stuffs the stash. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell. Got it, finally. Got it. Nice one there. We got some going. This good aggressive drive from him that time. Found a hole in the D and went straight to the rim. He started by Williams. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. That's on Lou Williams. Philadelphia shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And he can't get the first one. You've been producing documentaries going deeper into athlete stories, which I know you love. Because I think it hurts more than anything else. Yeah. So, so what drew you to that process? Initially, it was... Uh we dove into these stories we thought that was the inefficiency of instead of these big broad type of documentaries concentrate on events and players and moments and things like that and I think as you get into that you start doing it yes it just good cool stuff thing about it is no story should be told the same way you would tell somebody else's story you just don't know you're going to figure it out like we had Steve Nash's last Lakers season he wanted a documentary about it and then we spitballed it and we decided it was actually a better idea to do an in the moment digital series about it that we could experience at one time with the thing. And it was the right idea and that was really good. I think trying to figure out what story clicks the best with the athlete, how to tell whatever story they have correctly is the coolest part of that. Now here's Williams after the miss from Hart. Now Leonard. What a tremendous game he played against Cleveland. Harrell gets to Leonard. Back to Harrell. Here's Hardy. Oh, oh man! Simmons finds Richardson. The basket is his from Simmons. He can't leave anyone uncovered around Simmons. I mean, he's fantastic. You see him when one of his guys is over. Here's this is the other problem. Nobody's in the paint. It's flipping you. Oh, PG. Oh, my God. Make something, please. Please make something. The block. Oh, he, he comes off the bench? Why? Why did Tobias Harris come off the bench? Why don't you have Josh Wilson start a shooting guard? That doesn't make sense. That's a weird. I, I, I'm sorry. That's a weird. That's a weird formula. Over to the wing. Shoots over Leonard. No good off the back of the rim. Bill, you host your own podcast. I've listened to it. I subscribe to it. Thank I you. love it. Good stuff. What do you make of some of the NBA players now doing the same thing? And we have a couple of them. We At the ringer, we have J.J. Reddick. We have Vince oh, Carter and Ken Bazemore. Uh, the ones that are good at it take it seriously. It can't be one of those things where, you know, a player says, you know what, I want a podcast. And then it just magically happens. And you got to work on it. You have to use your connection to book your guests. And you have to what a pass. Yes, finally. Let's go. The guys that have been successful at it are people that could probably have a media career for a living. Like, JJ is clearly the world of media for your hires. Richard Jefferson had a great podcast. He's gone in the media. He's really good. Yes. So, I think you need a little more talent. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Let's go. 
I wanted you to pass out. I did not like that shot. I can't stop him. Just Come back, come back, come back. Talking about that win against the Cavaliers, he was definitely a major factor as well. Williams scanning the floor. Here's the two drop. And it'll be with the block. And the wingspan of the B. Oh, God. And that one's good. Tribal. Who is that, bro? I can't, bro. When I tell you I can't do a thing, <laughs> I swear to God, I'm, I'm not kidding you. I can't do a thing. This man is too tall, bro. And like he got locked down pressure on top. Oh God. <laughs> what? Who is that? That man is scoring buckets. Now he's scoring buckets. He's just scored two hard shots that I've never seen. He's the rookie. Oh, he's the rookie. Wow. But I actually paused to see Ben Simmons real quick. If he got defense, if he got, oh, he has Clint, but it's only a bronze, but still, <laughs> still. <laughs> It's best teams on the bench, of course, now. Oh, my God. If <laughs> <laughs> I would have blow past them, I can't blow past them as he's about as fast as I am. So. <laughs> Yes. That's not what I wanted to do. That's not at all what I wanted to do. Yeah, everything is 100% smothered because this dude is just on me, bro. 6'10, man. Damn, I can't. Size screws me up. Oh, nice. Uh, I'm close. This is why I talk about with a center being in paint. <laughs> We're only down two, so it's not it's not it's not as bad. Wow. Cause swear to God I had that boy. Do they still have both I thought Mondanovich signed to Dallas or somewhere it was Six on the shot clock. 
Got shit. Never mind. I ain't pulling it. I ain't pulling it. Yeah, send me down, please. This nightmare. This. <laughs> I want this nightmare to end. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Alright, we're we're back on the court. We're only down seven, so we're not we're not down heavy. This game is winnable. I just don't know how the hell we're gonna win it. <laughs> no, Embiid. No. Yeah, I'm a better dunker than you saw me. Defense, Kawhi all the way. Yes. Why you cut really late? Inside, here's Leonard. Good work defensively by Horford. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. God. Can we really call out a foul, though? And one, uh, the beat came out of nowhere. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. I meant to pump fake that. I don't know why the hell they made me gather. 
is shooting 84% on the season. Uh, I mean, what I appreciate about Warford is his unselfishness. I mean, he brings a veteran team-first mindset to the table. Hardy passes to Leonard. Bill, you're a basketball God, you kidding me? This team is too damn big, bro. I would say the other way. I think they don't appreciate it enough. Why does it seem like the team is so damn defensive, too? Like, you can't get past it. Why the hell I can't get the ball in me, Sam? Finally, I got steal. Come on, PG. Oh, my Lord. I saw him beat. I'm like, he ain't going to get that in time. Lo and behold, I was wrong. Oh, yeah. Tony is everywhere. Oh, my God. Why he look more defensive than he did last year? What? Uh, bro. All right. And that screen. Oh my God, that screen. What the? What? Where are you coming from? Why do I have all these mismatches? Everywhere I turn, I got a mismatch. Why? Why is... And of course, the, of course the ball ain't going my way. <laughs> of course, the ball ain't going my way. The hell are you going... Oh, we lost this game. I can't. Philly might be the team to beat for me, which is hilarious. Why? Who is this rookie, bro? This rookie get on my damn nerves. Why am I always got Oh God, get him away from me, please. Fifty-eight seconds left in the first half. Reaching for life, bro. Nope, not doing it. Whoa! I appreciate you pulling it, but you can't shoot in your. You can't say I didn't try. Does Josh Wilson got clamps? Because he's on me. Like, do you have clamps? Yep. Do you have clamps? Nope. But you're 6'8", six, 6'9", six, so you're always going to be in front of me. Do you have clamps? Nope. But you're 6'6", six, six, so... Yo, this whole team is so fucking tall. <laughs> Exceptionally dominated. Yeah, this team is exceptionally taller than us. We are gonna get we are getting dominated. 
I have 11 points, 2 boards, 3 assists, and a steal. I can't block. I'm shooting 36%. I'm getting clamped up. I can't even get to the rim because most of these people that are guarding me got clamped. So how the hell am I supposed to get around them? Defense is still strong, bro. But for some damn reason, I got clamps on Hall of Fame, and I can't seemingly... Oh no. Yo, and Bede is and Bede is everywhere, bro. Under down low with four with Harrell in the middle. Williams is out there with Smooth. And it's George in at the three, the small forward. Chris, when you look around the league, who do you feel is the most important player on your team? Who do you feel is the most universally liked player in the league? So many players with great scores. How about that, bro? Oh my god. Steal the ball from this team. God, you box him out in everything. God, he still got it. We have it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We're running. Come on, PG. Can't be can't be dribbling like that, bro. This team is too there. Come on, bro. I got I got you. I got you. Uh, you went the wrong way. So, why are you always out here, man? Jesus Christ. This is going to be a hard team to beat. The only bump benefit is that they're kind of injury prone. But I doubt it. Come back, come back. So no. I can't get an assist. I can't get a bucket. Oh, bro, this game is this difficult right now. We're about to be down 20. Come on, man. Oh my god. 
Shaw can't do a thing. This team is OP. The Philly is OP in terms of size. About to get a fifth loss right here, bro. This is. I can't do the same. I can't do the same, man. I can't. Because every matchup that I have is taller than me. You got Ben Simmons on me. Then Al Horford will be on me somehow. Then Tobias Harris will be on me somehow. Then this rookie will be on me. Somehow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I see that coming. I mean, I ain't seen it coming either, but it can stop the damn thing. Somebody got cut. Somebody got to do something, man. Somebody got to do help me. Timeouts. They haven't timed out yet. Be trying to go small against this team. Like we shouldn't even be going small against this team. Why the hell are we doing that? Why do you go into the way of Ben Simmons? Smart of you. Oh my god, he can't even get a clear shot! The Clippers have been exceptional shooting free throws tonight, going nine for nine. And he makes the first. Yeah, send me down. Send me down for the rest of the game. I can't I can't deal with this right now. This is this is crazy. We are getting abused. <laughs> this is insane. And I don't know what we could do, but we rematch them. They might beat us at home. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Jesus, I got fouled. Smooth's got 17. And that's what he does. I mean, he is a... That's all I can do. Nobody score when I give him the ball. Simmons working around. On the wing, Harris. Ten team fouls in this whole court. There's the foul against the Clippers. No, man, the defenders have to be more cautious regarding Harris. He is constantly looking to draw contact on his shots. And Harris drops them both. Here's Smooth. Here's Williams. 
I don't know why he didn't keep going. I only have three assists. Bro, if there's one thing I never struggled in, at least is passing the ball. This is probably the lowest I've ever passed. Three assists, that's it? You got Ben Simmons don't know how to shoot, but still. I can't stop him. I did not know this game would be this much of a struggle. That was smart if you just get should have gave me a regular pass. Here's Bible. Good block. Come on, why are they on the boards? Yeah, that's how I face Philly. I need Zubats on and beat. Montrez Harold is too damn short. He really is. Wow, I can't score on Trey Burke now. How do you get that back? God, I, why is Harold always at your I, I can't deal with my center being out there, bro. Why is he not in the paint? I have no words. I, I have no words. And Montrez fell, though. I don't, I still have three assists. So I'll put that out there as a disclaimer. I'm definitely going to switch the I'm definitely going to switch the um Second statue in Philly. I mean, the other one is down by the stadium. At that legend walk, 
You know who he joins? Will Chamberlain, Mo Cheeks, Bobby Jones, Billy Cunningham, Al Greer. That's a good company to be in. Some great history for the Sixers. What about my sis? On Horford. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Uh, How? So oh, you mean tell me Horford got coverage like that? And we come back to it again and again. If you're just looking at points and rebounds, you really miss Al Horford's impact. It goes way deeper than the box score. Can I get four assists, please? At least four. And some of the directors have looked at Horford's stats and... Greg, they said he's not an all-star. Even Sports Talk Radio calling him average out. Nonsense. I mean, still a great defender, efficient scorer, elite passer as well for a big man. Then you get to his leadership. Big Al is the total package. Here's Smooth, Burke covering. Burke, two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Yeah, it's going to go on Trey Burke. You see the shift where players on competing teams becoming friends. How does that compare? So when you play this, uh, it's a little bit different. The players that I admire the most. I never, they shut me down hard in this game. I can't, I haven't been with steel. I couldn't block. I couldn't pass. I didn't want to hang around with them, and I'm trying to beat them in the summer. But, you know, you got guys like the banana boat. Anyway, Melo and Brian Kane, they have one and two, and they have that relationship. So, uh, I think relationships are always great. Really, it's just about uh, oh, can you turn the friendship? No, go! Keep going! That lets you stop it! That's what four assists. I've had three assists the whole game. I think it's the first quarter. I literally went through three quarters with not one assist given. I got a block at least. I'll take the block. Shoot it. Oh my god. <laughs> We are down 30. <laughs> I am down 30. <laughs> wow. I don't know why I jumped. Why am I out here with the... Why do I, I love how when I try to change my minutes... Coach goes, nah. Nah, we want you out here. I don't want to be out here for the fourth quarter like this, man. Especially if we... We're either we're killing them or we're getting destroyed like this. I want to be out here right now. Two K so disrespectful to you. You had. Right, I'm just going to keep getting fouled. The free throw line. Yeah, it's going to go on Trey Burke. The other day, Chris, I heard Commissioner Adam Silver talking about that it strikes him sometimes how isolated players can be with cell phones and headphones, and those things wouldn't help them. Uh, is it something that you've noticed or that you're concerned about? You mean with my nephews and nieces and friends and the younger <laughs> and kids walking across the street looking at their phones and not even looking both ways? You're your play-by-play -play partner, whoever it might be. <laughs> 
to tell Alex Silver, Mr. Commissioner, yeah, that's a basketball problem, that's a world problem. How, how are we going to stop yeah. any of that? We're, we're here now. It's, it, there's no putting that jiggy back in the bottom. Okay. Awesome. Finally, four assists. My God, this took me this long. That's how you lead your teammate into the easy scoring chance. I love that assist. Smith with it. To the wing right side. Or kicks to court blocks. I don't even know if I'm ready for the rematch, bro. This was a, this was bad. This was this was this was bad. Like, <laughs> like this, <laughs> this was a bad game. Well, at least I got two steals, five assists. That's right, a great defensive play, then the impact stuff. Oh yeah, bang, bang, an impressive sequence that has them fired up. Pitch in shot, and Marjanovic with the layup. Marjanovic has got eight points here in this quarter. And one of the stories of the second half has been all of those second chance points. I mean, they have been terrific on the offense. Thank you for being in my way, sir. Here's Hardy. At one. Picks up two points, so one free throw coming up. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Maurice checked in for the Clippers. Yeah, love the attitude he's playing with here in the second half, going strong to the hoop and getting to the free throw. Can't say I didn't try. Here's Burke. That's so. That's crazy. That's crazy. Very little you can do defensively. Shamit on the wing. And Chris, whether it's Katie or Kyle, we've seen stars grow irritated. Constant questions about their free agent destinations. I, I would just suggest to them to go back in time. Nothing's new under the sun. Watch guys like. Shaq, like myself, uh, other guys that were free agents. It's a time to talk about it, and, and it's a time not to. And you can even speak about your impending free agency without um, insulting the fans where you're playing and without uh, guessing of maybe where you will go next year. I, I just think that you know, guys just need to be a little more sensitive to it. Fans really want to know, and if the media's going to ask you the question, you know, you get away how to handle that out for a the man has no part, and that's poor defense for a team that has a long way to catch up. Yeah, see, like, that isn't going to get you back in the game. I had 22 points in this the fourth quarter, man. I'm just, I'm just scoring, bro. Like, it's, apparently coach feels that I should be out here with the bench. I don't know why. If I'm the franchise player, why the hell should I be out here with the bench? Of course, I'm not going to say now. That to put somebody else in the rotation for me to get some damn rest? This is loss number five for us.
what a team they was tonight. Setting guys up for layups and open jumpers on, on what seemed like every possession. Bird, the bands, the court bonds. You can greatly see the effect Ben Simmons had on me the whole damn game. Ben Simmons was on me the whole game, and bro, I couldn't pass or nothing. Ever since I, ever since he. Ever since, oh my God, how am I missing that? Oh. Ever since he was on the bench, I have shot, I have scored 22, no, 24 points. Two assists. Got to stay on the block. How can I not get the ball out of my hands? Like, come on, you got the ball exposed. It is Yay Dennis. All right, five fouls. There's 18 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's the floater. And that's two points on the layup. Smooth's got 43 points. <laughs> that's just great touch. The teardrop, well, that's all about two. <sighs> well, we had to lose sometime. I'm cool. We had to. Hey, listen, we had to lose sometime. That was not overall good game for me. Oh yeah, five assists, bro. That's probably the lowest I've had. That is the lowest I've had since I started. Damn, so that was stressful. They feel they're gonna be the team to beat. Now they got Ben Simmons, that flipping point guard. That makes it hard for me. Oh, no, that was a sixth loss. Oh, yeah, we got a fifth loss against the Lakers. Oh, God, no. God, now the Lakers are that much closer to us. Now they're two games. Now we're, I think we're two games apart now. Or maybe a game and a half. Even so. Damn. Well, we go from the second best team in the West to the, in the East to our next game is against the best team in the East. That'd be the Boston Celtics. That'd be the rematch. And after that, we got All Star Weekend. <sighs> no rest for the weary. We gonna do what we can. I just gotta brush that loss off. That was a, ooh, that was a bad that 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 was a very bad loss. Definitely need to brush that off. Boston, we coming. Get ready. <laughs>